Well, hello, people, and welcome. Now, this is something else I wanted to add on this channel, carried over from my old channel now. Many of the scores have changed, okay, but I've created a playlist. And going forward, every three months, I will update um, this list and do a little video like this, um, covering the top 30 active fighters' career scores, okay? Now, I'll, I'll kind of explain on last slide at the end where I have some ATG ratings exactly what this is all about. But yes, me being extremely sad, I not only have... Hundreds of ATGs rated this way, um, but I'm also now using this same system, okay, that will develop over time. So basically, a year from now, many people who are inactive will stay around the same. Other people who are more active will move up. It's a constantly growing, changing list. Now, this list is not a pound for pound list, okay? I don't care about pound for pound. Um, it's all subjective. I never do it. So what I've done is using a system that I've rated also the ATGs on, a 40 plus point system I have created this career score okay which gives a fighter every fighter and i'm going to have many more modern fighters over the 76 i've already got rated i'm covering top 30 here but gives them a career score okay and we're going to count down number 30 to number one and then every three months there'll be an update video and fighters who fought will have their ratings changed so let's look at the numbers 30 to 21 so in 30th place, okay, is Adonis Stevenson. Since I actually did the last ratings on my last, um, on my other channel, um, you know, what I'm still taking stuff from at the moment, um, you know, Adonis Stevenson has not done anything. He stays on 242 points. He has been overtaken by Lomachenko and some other people. In 29th place, we have Lamont Peterson, okay? Lamont Peterson also is tied with Adonis Stevenson on 242 career points. In 28th place, Vasil Lomachenko moved up from 45th to 28th, okay, with just two fights. I mean, he's a mass in points. Two or three more fights, he's going to be... Probably well over 300 and powering up towards the top echelon. Considering his low, his low fight number, 250 points is a massive score for a man with 12 fights. In 27th place, we have Hazumi Hasegawa. Hazumi Hasegawa comes in at 258 points. Um, he'll be the next fighter, Lomachenko Leapfrogs. In 26th place, okay, we have Bantamweight Shinsuke Yamanaka. Shinsuke Yamanaka comes in with a career score of 271 points. 25th place, we have David the Haymaker Hay. Lost recently, of course, to Tony Bellew. Um, his points haven't gone up much. His points coming at 277. In 24th place, Adrian Broner comes in on 281 points. And just ahead of Broner in 23rd place is Amir King Khan on 282 points. 22nd place, we have Juan Francisco Estrada. He comes in now at 203 points. And in 21st place, the first fighter to break the 300-point mark with 301 points is Abner Mares, who closes out this first 10 here. So they are the first 10 fighters in the top 30 active fighters. I've got to add other fighters like Bivol. Um, other fighters like Usyk and Jarrett Erd, they've had massive point growth so okay, over the last six to nine months, but they're still not into top 30 yet. But it will be an ever-changing growing list. Let's go on to numbers 20 to 11. And in 20th place, we have Kazuto Ioka. Um, he comes in just edging out Abnamaras into 20th place with 302 points. In 19th place, okay, we have Mikey Garcia, um, who comes in at 304 points. His recent Limpinets win, etc. Pushes him over the 300-point mark, touching in at 304. And in 18th place, we have Akira Yaigashi, um, who comes in at 305 points. And I must check with Yaigashi um, and certain other fighters just to make sure they haven't actually retired. If they have, once a fighter retires, they'll leave this list and go on to my ATG list in whatever place their points have earned them. Um, in 17th place, we have Ricky Burns on 321 points. And 16th place, a big jumper with winning another title and defending it, is Sergei Kovalev, who now comes in at 329 points in 16th place. 15th place, we have tough veteran Orlando Salido, who comes in with 330 points. And ahead of Orlando Salido by quite a margin in 14th place is Leo Santa Cruz, who comes in at a massive 360 points. The final three fighters on the countdown, 20 to 11. In 13th place is Lomachenko victim Jorge Linares on 364 points. In 12th place, we have Danny Swift Garcia, also on 364 points. And in 11th place, and debatable how much more he's going to fight, is Arthur Abraham, who's certainly close to the end of his career and will probably be usurped by many of the guys coming up. Um, Arthur Abraham comes in 11th place at 367, just outside the top 10. 
So remember, this is not pound for pound. This is not what have you done lately. This is a career score from their very first professional fight up to where they are now. And like I say, the 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 thing about this is it will update as it goes. As, as each video comes every three months, you will see the points changing and people moving place and other people coming in at the bottom. It is an ever-changing list, an organic list. So let us now go on to the top 10, going 10 to 1. And in 10th place, okay, is Terence Crawford with a score of 369 points. But now all the bigwigs, okay, who've hit over 400. Um, Canelo Alvarez touched over 400, okay, um, with his recent exploits in 9th place with 401 points. And Gennady Glovkin, who was just a little bit behind Canelo, has now leapfrog Canelo into 8th place at 405 points. Just ahead of Golovkin in 7th place is the multiple weight champion, um, Donny Nietes, who comes in on 407 points. And Felix Sturm, another fighter like Abraham, who is not likely to move much and, you know, once retired will disappear from the ratings or be usurped by fighters coming up like Golovkin and Crawford. He comes in at 439 points. Roman Gonzalez is in 5th place with 459 points. Again, we're not sure how much longer he will go on. Um, and in 4th place is tough veteran, OK, Johnny Gonzalez who's, you know, had 16 fights against world champions and well over 10 world title fights as well. Very experienced, tough veteran, although closer to the end now with 464 points. In third place, OK, also closer to the end of his career, um, but a guy who's had a fantastic career is the Filipino Flash, Nanito Donair, who scores near 500 at 497 points. And Nietes and Golovkin and Alvarez and K Crawford are all going to be chasing down um, Nanito Donair as they go forward and take part in more big fights so the top two places in second place and I'm not 100% sure if Cotto has retired or not we've heard it before Miguel Cotto comes in with a massive 591 points in second place and the top the top fighter, okay, um, from active fighters with the greatest career score to date by a staggering amount, of course, is modern ATG, Manny Pacman Pacquiao, who comes in at a mind-bending 834 points, showing just how far the guys below have to go. So they are the top 30. Now, just to put a bit of a comparison, let's look at some ATG ratings to give you an idea. So these are some ATG ratings that I thought I'd just put on end-up video as a little bit of an idea to give you an inclination of where fighters are in comparison to other fighters. And also to demonstrate that I do also have all these fighters rated as well and all the fighters around them. So I've just put a little list up here. I've selected some from the list. Mike Tyson, he scored a career total, 616 points. Vladimir Klitschko, ahead of Tyson on 721. The great Jose Napoli scored 835. Harry Wills, the Black Panther, scored 872. Coco Kid, okay, Herbert Lewis Hardwick scored 919. Joe Gans scored a mind bending 1,097 points. Willie Pep scored an even more impressive 1,227 points. Tony Canzaneri, the great five time lineal champion, scored a mind bending 1,442 points. And of course, the great Sugar Ray Robinson scored 1,625 points. Now, um, that is just a little selection so that when you look at the fighter ratings, as they grow, okay, as the, as the current active fighters grow, and I'm going to add Bivol in there, and I'm going to add Jamel, Ch Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo's in there. He's just not in top 30. Um, Alexander Usyk's in there. He shot up about 10 places with his last two fights. He's powering up in points. So did AJ. Um, so basically, this is a little cross-section of all the ATGs I also have rated under this criteria. Um, in fact, if I added one more criteria into this, I could use this and do a completely... Um, non-biased top 100 fighters of all time. That would be interesting. Um, but there's a little cut section of some of the ATGs. There's the top 30 current active fighters and their career scores. Like I say, it's not pound for pound. It is an entire career score. So three months from now and then three months after that, the ratings will update. You'll see people moving around or new people coming in. It's a completely organic growing list. So there's the first entry. This will go on the playlist I've created for it. There is the first top 30. Um, I'll see you in three months' time for the next one.